Hello. Welcome to the iOS Beta News Channel. What features of Apple TV Plus you simply must know. Not so long ago, Apple launched the Apple TV Plus service with exclusive films and TV shows of its own production. Despite the grandeur of the project, it as often happens with all new products, turned out to be not without a number of important features, some of which the language cannot be called shortcomings. However, among them there are those that openly negatively affect the experience of using the service and the impression that is formed among subscribers. We understand what these features are, whether it is possible to fix them, and whether it is necessary to do it at all. Then Apple TV Plus is better than Netflix the first and perhaps the main feature of Apple TV Plus, which plays into his hands, is a high bitrate. Flat Panels HD tested the effective 4K data transfer rate and found that it was almost twice as high at Apple as Netflix. If the bitrate of TV shows broadcast on Apple TV Plus is on average 29 Mbit, maximum 41 Mbit, then Netflix is no more than 16 Mbit. This is a fundamental difference, which is directly related to the quality of the picture. It turns out that at maximum the bitrate of Apple TV Plus meets the Blu-ray standard. The second feature is that some users unexpectedly received an annual subscription to Apple TV Plus as a present. Yes, Apple does offer such an opportunity, but only to those who bought a new iPhone, iPad, iPod, Mac or Apple TV after September 10th. Free Apple TV Plus subscription It is noteworthy that not all users who bought new devices within the deadline set by Apple were able to get a free subscription to Apple TV Plus. Despite the fact that Cupertino promised to automatically bind a subscription when they first entered the TV application, this did not happen. As it turned out later, the reason for this was a kind of failure that occurred on Apple servers. Therefore, in order to equip everyone who is entitled to a free subscription, Apple began to distribute unique promotional codes, for which you need to contact technical support. Not appreciated by users and the implementation of the TV application, which provides access to Apple TV+. According to some subscribers, they are faced with the fact that the service does not remember the moments at which they stopped viewing and does not allow it to continue from that very point. Therefore, all that remains to be done in such situations is either to start viewing from the beginning, or, relying on memory, to wind the series until the moment when the action on the screen begins to seem unfamiliar. However, sometimes the application simply crashes, and therefore it turns out that the entire progress of the rewind has to be started anew. Is it worth it to subscribe to Apple TV Plus what is it? On the one hand, the launch of Apple TV Plus went relatively smoothly. In any case, there were not so many negative reviews about the service, not to mention positive ones. On the other hand, dissatisfied were also found, and their dissatisfaction turned out to be quite justified, given that in a few days Apple would write off the first subscription fee from users' bank cards. It turns out that those who are faced with crashes of the application and zeroing progress have no opportunity to use the service to the fullest and there is basically nothing to charge for. But Apple doesn't seem to think so at all. The Apple TV Plus service was launched recently, but Apple has already announced the extension of some TV shows the first seasons of which are available in the service. If usually the creators of the series are waiting for the season to end, or make an announcement about the extension before its final, Apple decided not to stand on ceremony. When the new Apple TV Plus show series releases as Variety Notes, see, for the sake of all mankind, Dickinson and The Morning Show have been extended for the second season. Of these, only The Morning Show to the power of should have received at least two seasons before since its episodes are already being shot, but it was not clear whether Apple would complete the remaining projects in one season, so that next year it would release new television shows. Many Apple TV Plus projects, including The Morning Show and C, received not the most flattering reviews from critics, but viewers rated the TV shows much higher. For example, on Rotten Tomatoes at C, the rating of critics is 41%, and the audience is 83%, the same thing with The Morning Show, which has a rating of critics of 62% and 95% of the audience. And similar ratings can be seen for most Apple TV shows. Apple has not yet provided detailed information about how many people have signed up for an Apple TV Plus subscription, and how many views of its show have collected so far. 
but Variety writes that sources close to Apple claim that the service attracted millions of users, each of whom spent more than an hour on the Apple TV Plus platform. Apple insiders are impressed by the scale of activity to the power of on the platform and the fact that most viewers who watch one episode from all episodes subsequently watch at least one or two more episodes. Based on this, Cupertino may come to the conclusion that viewers perceive the show from Apple well, which means that some of the projects can now be easily extended for the second season. Every week, Apple releases new episodes of C, For All of Humanity, and Morning Show, since they were launched with just three episodes available. The Dickinson series became available on the platform immediately after the launch of the service. If you like this video, like and subscribe to our channel. Siri was with you.